What is PTG filament for 3D printing? Welcome everyone to today's video on 3D printing. I'm Darren from the Bulldog 3D and today we're diving into the world of PTG filament. If you're new to 3D printing or looking to expand your knowledge, this is the perfect place to start. Let's get into it. What is PETG filament? So what exactly is PETG? PETG stands for polyethylene terephthalate glycol. It's a type of thermoplastic polymer that has become incredibly popular in the 3D printing community. But why? Let's break it down. Characteristics of PETG. PETG combines the best properties of PLA and ABS, two of the most common 3D printing filaments. Here are some of its key characteristics. Durability. PETG is known for its toughness and durability, making it ideal for functional parts and mechanical components. Flexibility. While being strong, it's also slightly flexible, which helps prevent snapping under stress. Chemical resistance. It's resistant to various chemicals, making it suitable for more demanding applications. Transparency. PETG can be printed in a clear form, making it great for projects that require a see-through component. Easy to print. Compared to ABS, PETG is easier to print and doesn't emit as many fumes. You might be wondering why should you choose PETG over other filaments? Here are some reasons. Versatility. PETG's properties make it versatile for a wide range of applications, from household items to industrial parts. Temperature resistance. It can withstand higher temperatures compared to PLA, making it suitable for parts that might get warm during use. UV resistance. Unlike PLA, PETG is more resistant to UV rays, so it's better for outdoor applications. Ease of use. PETG is less prone to warping compared to ABS, which can be a big plus for beginners and those who don't want to deal with complex printing setups. Now, let's talk about the practical side of things. Printing with PETG. Here are some tips to get the best results. Print temperature. Typically, you'll need a print temperature between 220 degrees Celsius and 250 degrees Celsius. This can vary based on the brand and specific formulation of the PETG. Bed temperature. Set your heated bed between 70 degrees Celsius and 90 degrees Celsius to help with adhesion and reduce warping. Speed. Printing at a moderate speed, around 30-60 millimeters per second, helps achieve better quality prints. Cooling. PETG doesn't require as much cooling as PLA. Use a part cooling fan at a low speed or not at all, depending on the complexity of the print. Adhesion. Use a glue stick or painter's tape on the print bed to help with adhesion. Some users also find success with pet tape or build surfaces specifically designed for PETG. Applications of PETG. So where can you use PETG? Here are some common applications. Medical devices. Because of its chemical resistance and durability, PETG is used in medical applications like braces, splints, and other devices. Prototyping. Engineers and designers often use PETG for prototypes that need to endure stress in testing. Outdoor gear. Its UV resistance makes it perfect for creating parts that will be exposed to the sun, like brackets, clips, and mounts. Functional parts. PETG is great for printing functional parts that need to be both strong and flexible, such as hinges, enclosures, and tool handles. Common challenges and solutions. Despite its many advantages, PETG does come with some challenges. Here are a few common issues and how to solve them. Stringing. PEG can be prone to stringing. To minimize this, reduce the print temperature slightly and adjust the retraction settings in your slicer software. Over adhesion. Sometimes PETG can stick too well to the print bed. To avoid damage, use a release agent like glue stick or painter's tape. Surface finish. PETG can sometimes have a glossy finish, which might not be desirable for all projects. Experiment with lower print temperatures to achieve a more matte finish if needed. Conclusion. To sum up, PETG is a fantastic filament for both beginners and experienced 3D printing enthusiasts. Its durability, flexibility, and ease of use make it a great choice for a wide range of applications. Whether you're printing functional parts, prototypes, or even medical devices, PETG has something to offer. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you found this information helpful and that it inspires you to try PETG in your next 3D printing project. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more 3D printing tips and tutorials. Happy printing! 
And that's our video for today. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future episodes, leave a comment below. I'm Darren, and this is the Bulldog 3D. And until next time, keep creating.